Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's me, Vexicus4666, here with Lustrous Gaming One Piece, and I am here with a winner, and his name is Chris. What did you do, Chris? Um, I played in one of Luxury's four-man tournaments uh, for some event packs, I, I believe it was, and I played Red Zoro. And what does that deck do? Uh, so it plays a bunch of uh, one-cost characters, and we just spam the board and turn sideways and attack. Um, yeah. And then, so quick shout outs before we go into the profile. Shout of course. Out to uh, Galaxy Buster TCG up out in Otisville in Michigan uh, for, and Cody and Dylan for being great sponsors and like supporting me and everything and like providing cards. Uh, shout out to all the Flint homies. And then uh, Rico Cross for getting me into One Piece, actually. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, uh, so the deck list was pretty simple. Uh, we're just going to start with like basic one drops. So you played the red. Red Zoro leader and his things when you have a Donator and everybody gets 1,000. Uh, so you played, I played four Otama, uh, four Nami to search the cards, uh, four, what's this chick's name? Makikyo, the new one drop out of OP2 that boosts a 1k by 3k. Uh, two Magra, which on play boosts a, a one drop by 3k. Uh, three Sunny Coon, which is searchable off of Nami. Three Gordon of the new one drop that minuses somebody by 3k. And then that's all the character one drops. And then for the two drops, I played four Curly Dandan, which just searches for all your one drop characters, which is just more consistency for the deck. And then I played two of the starter deck Brook, that's a 2k counter, and that also puts two Don under somebody if you play them. And then for the three drops, it was three Rush Zoro. Three uh, Robin to pop somebody with 3k or less, and then three v Vista out of the new set, which KO is a 3k or less. And the new set just came out recently, correct? Yeah, the pre releases were all last weekend. Okay, that's good. And then for my top end, because the deck is all low cost characters, and then the only top end card I played was uh, the new Edward Newgate Whitebeard, the nine drop. Uh, what he does is on play, he gives your leader 2k until the end of your opponent's next turn. And then his win attacking, if he has two Don on him, he makes some, uh, he pops a 3k. But he's a, a 10k character that gives your leader 7k on your opponent's turn. That is actually on scary. Play. Yeah, it helps uh, defensively as well, because now they have to commit more cards to be able to attack you or more Don. And then the only events I played were uh, four Jet Pistol and two Radical Beam. Okay, now let me ask you this. How were your matchups? Um, so I played against Cody Angeloff round one. He was playing Smoker. Um, he said I opened really, or I had all the great cards, but I feel like I just played correctly. Um, my my play group, we play a bunch of different colors, so I'm used to like playing against other things, so I try to adapt. Uh, against Cody, what I was I ended up doing was I just was going wide and making him deal with the board, and because Black has to commit, or a lot of the times they have to pitch cards out of their hand to like do something with it, like uh, their three drop Kobe that KOs a three cost or less, you have to discard a card out of your hand, so they, they lose hand resources while trying to clear your board as well, and Black doesn't have a search card yet, not until OP three when CP nine comes out, and then. Uh, the second round, or the final round, I played against uh, Kiramon, Green Kiramon. I think he didn't open as optimal, but I just kept, I just turned sideways and just kept attacking his face and clearing the board. Um, against Black, I was just trying to maintain, like, card control advantage. Because Black puts up a bunch of, like, blockers that can't be KO'd by card effects, which is a little bit of a struggle. Mm -hmm. You can't just jet pistol a blocker or play, like... Uh, the Vistas or the Robins or the Whitebeard to just KO the low-cost low, low cost blockers. So, like, you gotta commit the cards to be able to turn and kill the actual guys on field to be able to survive. Uh, one weird thing that I wasn't used to playing in this new set was I didn't play a single blocker in my deck. How come you didn't play a blocker? Um, so I was... I, I copied some uh, list from japan obviously because that's what we're we do nowadays oh yeah ain't that the truth <laughs> oh, absolutely but when during play testing and stuff when proxying cards at, at locals um we found I, I was realizing that like even in this deck now everything just deals with all the little people for free 
Like, especially, like, because Red got the Vista, which just KOs the three costs on field. Black has Kobe that KOs the three costs on field. Green just plays, like, Okikus, and they turn your stuff sideways and then kill it anyways. Like, uh, so I was just, like, I'm going to put more combo. I, I put more combos on the deck, essentially, or counter power, because all the new stuff is, is, like, a lot of 2Ks. Like, McKinky was a 2K. Magra is a 1K. The film Gordon doesn't have a combo, but it lets you lower their stats so that way you can kill uh ko them faster and then yeah okay so are you going to be playing any other future tournaments or are you are you or are you in any tournaments right now um so i was playing on past turn gaming because that's where the simulator stuff was until luxury just started doing simulators um this was the second tournament i played in with luxury and i've won both of them so far playing the same list well, look at you! You're gonna be you're gonna be the next luxury is one piece king of the pirates. I don't know about that. Maybe like <laughs> a, a mediocre pirate. <laughs> I'll, I'll be in the middle. I'm sure there's better people, but uh, and then yeah, I, I plan on playing on in more tournaments. Just you got to find time, obviously. <laughs> I know that feeling. All right. Any closing things you want to say about the deck, or give me any uh, other additional shoutouts? Um. Shout out to uh, my friends out in Wisconsin and uh, Washington that also like verbally support me. I play video games with them. Uh, that's Keith and Dawson, and then uh, Alex and all the other Flint homies. All right, cool. Thank you for doing the deck profile. And I have a feeling we will be talking more, doing more deck profiles in the future. Sounds like a plan. All right, thanks. No problem. All right.